Wow, look at this. I've never had that happen. I mean, it's totally disconnected. It, it should absolutely return home, but it is just not. What's going on, everyone? Nick Corona here. And uh, today I, I do have a video for you guys, but first I have some more unfortunate news. And it's that making this video, which won't be 4K, I lost my Mavic completely. And I am so bummed. Uh, this is fresh. This just happened like two hours ago. So I, I just got back home and I'm just shocked. Um, I, I don't really use the return to home feature very often, but I will say I'll kind of explain what happened to you guys, but I just lost signal and the drone was gone. It did not return to home. The signal didn't even deplete. I went from fully connected to just nothing. And I'm even looking at it in the flight log and I'm just shocked. And I lost it in downtown Atlanta. The absolute worst place to lose a drone. I'm just praying it landed on a rooftop. I went around and checked all the rooftops I could get access to in the area. I'm going to have to go back tomorrow. I didn't see it in a tree. I just am so bummed. Like, I am praying that someone didn't get hurt. That, you know, I, it could have landed anywhere. It could have landed in the middle of traffic. I, I haven't gotten a phone call, so it makes me feel like... It's probably on a rooftop or in a tree. I have my phone number. Where you, when you take the battery out, it has my name and number in there. And I don't know. It just kills me because I do, I do some pretty ballsy flights sometimes, and this was not a ballsy flight. I was on the the Freedom or the Jefferson Street Bridge, the, like one of the most popular spots in Atlanta. And there was even like two or three other people flying drones. It's, it's a popular spot. Sunset, perfect. I'm getting all these really great shots I'm going to show you guys in a minute here. It's just that it saved them to my phone, so it's not the 4K version. And I went behind a certain building and just nothing. Disconnected, no pressing the home button. I, I don't know. The drone isn't where the beacon said it was. And that's another thing that really bummed me out is, you know, those drones, the batteries die quick. And then even if you have the drone on and you're not flying, the battery dies pretty quick. So you wouldn't even have much time to use the GPS beacon. And it really made me wish there was like a separate system for the GPS or a separate battery. Because if I could have just known for sure where it was, I'd be good. I would know like, hey, it's on this rooftop or like, I, you know, someone grabbed it. I see it moving in a car. Just, just anything. I mean, it's a $2,000 drone. You know how much it sucks to just have that go behind a building and it's gone? I, you know, sorry guys, my whole YouTube is kind of based around it, so this is just a really big bummer. I, you know, what what do you guys think? What would you do? What should I call the police? You know, I'm tempted to, you know, just call it in in case anyone reported a drone or maybe it landed in the street. I just, I really don't know. You know, runaway drone. I'll uh, show you guys my flight path here and. Um, the footage is beautiful. It's beautiful footage. I was excited to turn this into a really cool video for you guys, but unfortunately, it's just kind of turned into this. And uh, you know, overall, I'm. I, I I guess you're always gonna blame you know the pilots to blame, right? But when you see the flight data, like I wasn't even you know I was probably maybe a half mile away from myself. It wasn't extraordinarily far away. My signal was not depleting, and I'm just so disappointed that the return to home feature didn't work. I just always, I don't know. I just wished that it worked, right? But, uh, you know, I know that the building that I was around is higher than 400 feet because I was, you know, at 300 and 400 feet throughout the flight. And I know that those buildings were probably six, 700 feet tall. So in my mind, the re return to home feature should initiate. It should start coming towards me. If there's any obstacles, it should just go around them, right? 
I mean, I just I just sat there for 20, 30 minutes till I was sure it couldn't have came back and then went looking for it. And I'm just I'm just out of luck and I have no drone. So, I, you know, I, I guess be super careful around tall buildings because, you know, just it's a lot of metal and interference. But like, I, I don't know, you guys fly, you know, it's just, it's weird, you know, you can usually go behind one building, a house or something, there was, there was nothing between me and the drone except for like maybe that one building for a second, so I just can't believe that, you know, maybe the home sequence didn't initiate and then come back into range, or anything, anything, just in the middle of a shot and gone, uh, it's such a bummer, I mean... I hope no one got hurt. I hope the drone didn't crash. I hope it just landed on a roof and I get it back tomorrow. But this freaking sucks. I'm so disappointed. Sorry I don't have an, you know, just amazing, phenomenal 4K video for you guys. Uh, you can enjoy this. You can enjoy this footage in RIP drone. I, I hope I get it back. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do in the morning to try and recover it, let me know, and if anyone is in Atlanta, I would really appreciate any of you other drone flyers out there, you know, if you guys could help me look for it. I know the general area where I lost signal, and if we, you know, went down there and you went up to like 400 feet like I was and looked down, maybe we could find it on a rooftop. I would definitely appreciate any help. Um, because I'm just really sad right now. That's... <sighs> Man, I'll tell you what. It really makes me appreciate my drone, you know. It really makes me appreciate it. If you're out there, like, shopping for one and you've always wanted one, and then, you know, maybe people that have them take them for granted, like, all I can say is the drone is so cool. Like, it, we are in the future. I wish the home return to home feature worked though. I am a little heartbroken by that because I love this drone and I just hate that it didn't return to home. So yeah, RIP Mavic. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to go look for it. I already got on to like one rooftop that I thought it would be on. I searched the whole area. You know, it it sucks. It sucks. So, um, yeah, from my, uh, let's see how many flights. Um, enjoy my video from my, let's see here, flight number 217. 48 hours on that drone. Flight 217. I, I mean, I've flown it so much. I know that drone very well. That's why I say it should not have cut out like that. Okay, I'm done ranting and bitching. Um, comment your suggestions below. I really want to hear from everyone. What the heck should I do? And um, until we figure this out... Enjoy this last masterpiece. I will not be defeated. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double. Got it out with half and I flipped it in a double. Now I'm smashing on the model cause I bought 
Hey, on Thursday is cream. I'ma take the team. We gon' be hot, hot like steam. I just got the dreams. I don't know what you mean. It's all funny to the few. I get 50 to my cheek. Shit is real. Oh.